Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today is another episode of more for your dough where I compare a particular food in three different price points. So I did one video on this particular theme and I tried burgers in three different price points and if you'd like to watch that video, the link is right up here. And today we're going desi and going to try biryani at three different price points. So we're gonna have biryani from the cheapest place we can find, a middle range one and an expensive one. And see which one is more for your dough. Before we get started with this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out a lot. So let's get started. So we are going to start with the cheapest biryani that we could find. And for the cheapest one, we went to Iceland, which is very, very popular for frozen meals, as you can guess from its name. So we got this frozen chicken tikka biryani. And this was around 1.75 or 79 pounds. Basically one pound, yeah. So a biryani for about one pound, that's very, very, very cheap very cheap this is what it looks like frozen while it's frozen it doesn't look very appetizing doesn't look that bad either it's a frozen very cheap biryani i'm not expecting it to be michelin star so i'm gonna pop this in the microwave and see you guys with a hot plate of biryani so my biryani is in the microwave for nine minutes and if you guys want to see me try frozen meals for 24 hours the link is right here go watch it thanks and while you're on it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. So my biryani is hot, piping hot. And this is what it looks like after it's not frozen. I'm gonna put this on a plate and then start my dinner and tell you guys how it is. And if it's worth it, I mean, if it's more for your dough. So apparently the thing, trick is you have to uh, mix up the curry and the chicken and the rice together. And then it's gonna be a biryani. And they have been quite generous with their chicken pieces, as you can see. Moment of truth. Is it any good? Mm. Okay, it's very, very flavorful. I need to take one more bite to give you guys in-depth explanation or description. But my first bite, it tastes really flavorful. Don't mind me, I'm going to use my hands because that's how you should eat biryani. Frozen chicken biryani. Honestly, it's very flavorful. The chicken is very juicy considering that it has been it's a frozen chicken Like it's very tender and juicy and if you probably serve this I would probably not know this is a frozen meal Like I wouldn't be able to guess and the flavor is not spot-on like it's not a very authentic biryani, but this is as close I think I'll get from a frozen meal and trust me this is really good I wouldn't mind having this on a regular basis trust me the only complaint ish I think is because it was marketed as spicy but it's not spicy for me you can see that they have used like spices like coriander and mint and chilies and you can also see how the chicken pieces are kind of burned and grilled nicely like it's cooked very nicely and these herbs they actually have a very nice smell it smells really really nice this is a banger i'm gonna finish my dinner and i'll see you when i have my next middle-ranged biryani so for our mid-range biryani we are here in roti junction and they specialize in bangla style indian food so i've had their food before and honestly it tasted something back from home because it wasn't completely indian authentically or it wasn't completely bangladeshi style it was come somewhere in the somewhere in between and they do have a lot of food that's budget quality and so for our mid-range biryani this seemed like the perfect place so we're gonna go select our biryani and probably just stand on the roadside and eat it because i'm really hungry and since it's lockdown number two we can't sit in and have food So before we start with our biryani, we also got masala chai. 
because the weather is shit and I just needed something to warm myself up. It's 3 p.m. right now, can you guess? See, it just hits your heart, it's really good. Nice hot cup of masala tea in this weather is just what you need. Now let's start eating our biryani. So this is our mid-range biryani. We took a chicken biryani and it was around 3.5 pounds. Which is still very cheap when it comes to biryani. It's raining, so I'm gonna have biryani standing in the rain. Ooh, it smells so nice. Piping hot biryani in a cold, cold day. It smells really nice. I feel like I just bought this from a Bangladeshi biryani shop because it smells completely like that. Nostalgia. First of all, the chicken is very tender, it's falling apart and the rice is very fragrant. Like The smell itself is enough to like, lure you to have more and more and more. So they have like gravy here and the gravy is really flavorful, it's full of spices and I think the best way to have this would be to mix the whole thing up so that you get the whole taste because now since I'm standing outside I'm not being able to mix it properly in fear of just spilling everything. But if I, if I was having this at home, I'd probably mix this up because when you mix this, the flavor gets spread around and you know, it tastes really nice. So I don't know if this was a mistake or not, but we don't really have much pieces of chicken here. Like they're very small and tiny. But I guess for the price, it's fine, I, I guess. So the cheapest biryani I had, had more chicken than this. But man, the smell and the taste of the whole gravy and the spices it's it's really good you know what i also have something to add more meat to it i got some shish kebab i got this chicken shish kebab because just because and i'm gonna have it with my biryani but the shish kebab makes up for the lack of meat a little i'm not too disappointed i'm actually really happy with the flavor of it because it's a good biryani, let me tell you, they have nailed the flavor. All I can say is a little bit more meat and it would have been just perfect. So it's time for the most weighted and the most expensive biryani of the video. And we ordered this from my dhaba and we ordered a lamb biryani and it was around 10 pounds. So yeah pretty expensive so we started with around one pounds then we moved on to around three pounds and now for the most expensive we are here at 10 pounds since it's a uh, lockdown again so we are doing a takeaway instead of going to the restaurant and sitting down because that's not allowed i wish we could go to the restaurant to give you guys a full fine dining experience but it's okay we'll make do so this is our biryani we have some a salad and I have no idea what this is because I ordered nothing else so I don't know if this is something they give you with biryani or if they just made a mistake and gave us an extra item no one knows so let's open the biryani first you'd think after having biryani for three times a day I would get tired but I'm not I could do this forever hoo 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 this smells I'm gonna put this on a plate, just... Sorry about my presentation skills. Not the not the prettiest presentation because it's done by me, but hey. Oh, I can see so many chunks of lamb. And let's see what this is. Oh, chan... It looks like chana. Yes, it looks like... It has potatoes. Potatoes and Ooh. chana. Yeah, it's like a mixed vegetable. Yeah, it's like a mixed vegetable. It's got potatoes, corn. Do they always give this with the? I think they do. I or think they was do. it just a? Uh, it's got chana. You got corn, peas, potatoes, and, uh, green beans. Nice. Look at the lamb. It's tender, and oh, it's look. It looks very flavorful. Let's hope it really is. Now this is the shit. I'm just gonna squeeze some lemon on top of my biryani to give it that extra oomph. This is honestly the perfect biryani because all the spices have been incorporated so nicely and the lamb is just so tender. And I'm really impressed with how generous they have been with their lamb. Obviously I'm paying 10 pounds for this. This should give me enough lambs. 
and you can see they have already some cooked onions um, some regular spices that you put in biryani I have no idea what the spices are per se all I know is this tastes really 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 good so it does not taste like your typical lamb biryani that's that I've had in Bangladesh like the kachi doesn't taste like that but it's still pretty nice it's a different type of lamb biryani let's try the curry let's try it on its own Ooh, this is really yum it's slightly citrusy for some reason this is the curry is really impressing me it goes with the biryani because i can have anything with biryani so personally i really like the curry because it gives a slight i don't know how to say tangness and that freshness of the veggies the curry is surprisingly tastes very light and i really like it with my biryani i don't mind the biryani on its own either and the quantity is quite generous and i'm really impressed with the curry that that tastes really good even though the, all the biryanis i've had so far they were really really good like nothing to complain about major complaints but it's a little less flavorful than at what i'm used to having at home back home so yeah and to me the best biryani ever will always be my mom's shout out to ammo but i guess you go to different places and you taste their take on a particular cuisine so i think that's what's happening here so you had biryani at three different price points you had a cheap one which was frozen a second one from roti junction and the lamb biryani right now from madhabba so to you which one was the most worth it or more for your dough. dough so to me the one that i would gladly spend money on again is the one is the lamb biryani from my dhaba because i think for what i'm paying i'm getting a curry biryani and salad it's like a very well incorporated meal and i would honestly be happy to have this any day but i would like to mention one more biryani as the owner will mention that would be the frozen one because for a frozen biryani that was really tasty uh, it, they had more chicken than the one from Rudy Junction, so that just yeah. What about you? Which one would you spend money on again? For me, the most most worth it was the one from my tapa. It this was one, like really the lamb good, biryani. Yeah. It was really good. Mm. So, which one do you think was more for your dough, and which one you would like to taste and spend your money on? Do let me know in the comment section below. And this was it for me trying biryanis at three different price points to find out which one I would spend money on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.